this week of book reviews with a book that I don't normally read, but I had to read because it was about my favorite thing, Mermaids. And this book is about two sides of a story. And before you think it, it's not what you think it is. It's, 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 it's a more grown-up version of The Little Mermaid. It's about two women who fall in love with the same man, basically. But the first life is Lena's life, and she's the mermaid. She's a princess, and she just turned 18. And at the end of, like, when, when mermaids, well, in this book, when mermaids turned 18, they got to go up for a day to see how humans operate, basically, because they don't interact with the real world. They don't interact with people with two legs, basically. And when Lena gets this opportunity, she sees something surreal, and she ends up saving Prince Christopher from a watery death. That, by the way, was it was eerie and dark and, and kind of cool in, in a really neat way. And Lena ends up saving Prince Christopher's life, and, and when she does that, she ends up falling in love with him. And when she goes back, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to take this from two women's perspectives, and I'm sorry with Lena. But when she goes back down to, you know, her, you know, castle or kingdom, she ends up wanting to go back up. And she keeps doing that to see if the prince is all right. But what she really wants is to live like us. She wants to have two legs. She wants to fall in love with the prince. And he wants her to fall in love with him. Now, the evil witch, she really is just that. But she's not somebody who wants her to fail, you know. And the story of how she she gained her legs is really cool too. I don't want to really get into a lot of like what makes this book really magical, but like to show you that this is what happens toward like in the book, you know. And when Lena gets her legs, she ends up acclimatizing herself to the prince, and the prince in reality does end up falling in love with her, and they end up making a baby. I know, how cool is that? And <laughs> they, but before they can have a happily ever after, there's also another person who comes into play. And her name is Margaret. And I will not say that she is the antagonist of the story, but she is just the person who wanted peace between her kingdom. When, how Margaret met Prince Christopher was actually through Lena. Because when Lena saved him, she had, she told Margaret to come and help him in. Now, Margaret was in situation because her kingdom was at war. And when the Prince Christopher comes into her life, she ends up falling in love with him before he leaves. And she knows who he is. But she doesn't see, like, she doesn't know that Lena is also in love with him, too. And, like, after he leaves, she comes up with this plan of, okay. His father and my father are at war. So in order to make this possible, I'm going to marry Prince Christopher. And before Lena and the prince can have an awesome life together, Margaret comes into the fold and says, you know what? You have to marry me so that our kingdoms can live in peace. And that kind of throws off Lena because Lena made a deal with the evil wish that, you know, she would get this man to marry her. And... Honestly, it wasn't really about a kiss. She wanted this man to marry her or she would die. It wasn't, oh, she was going to go back to the, you know. <laughs> she wasn't going to go back to be a mermaid. She was going to die. And I was like, whoa, that's a little extreme to be doing, you know. But the end of, ending of this book, it was a really good book. It was something I would, I would read to, like, future, like, I would give this, like, a 20 year old. I wouldn't give this to like 19 and above because they have the notion of the little mermaid. This is this is a more darker and you know more grown up and you know honestly more magical story of how uh, how the little mermaid or mermaid really really lived like how it was and I enjoyed this book. I give it a three star because it was just magical to me. It had like everything in it. And what I liked about it is that it took everything to the extreme. And, but it didn't like go over it, you know? And the ending of this book, you're gonna love the ending of this book. 
So I'm not going to even get into the name of this book, but it's actually, it's, it's really beautiful. It's, it's like a play. You know, I think they should turn this into like a movie because they would have been that good. But this book is called Mermaid by Carolyn. Go out, go read it. Tell me what you think.